Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 10 of WCL video. In the last session, we have discussed about WCL file. WCL file comes of basically six sections. So, WCL file comes of six sections. First one is definitions, types, messages, port section, binding section and services section. So, in the last session, we created one service. Here, we created one service. And service is nothing but it is a simple class. And in that class, you have to declare some methods. So, I am a service provider. Now, I am creating one service. The name of my service is employee service. In this class, I declared some methods like calculate DA and calculate HRA. Now, this service I am creating in which language? C -shop .net. Now, this service can be consumed by whom? Any technology. Java developer can consume my service. .NET developer can consume my service. PHP developer can consume my service. That is the power of what? Uh, interoperability. Is it clear? Service provider will create the service. Now I am creating one service. And then the service consumer will consume the service. Irrespective of any technology. Now I will not give the code to whom service consumer. Instead of that I will give what that? The WSGL file. When you try to debug this application. Here you can see two methods are there. Calculate DA. Calculate HRA. Even you can test the service also. It is asking me to give the input as 20,000 I will give some basic salary and invoke. The output of the web service will be on in XML file. Here the DA is what? 4,000. Similarly, if I try to call what? This calculate HRA method and it will ask you to give the input. I will give the input as 20,000 and click on invoke. So the output is 8,000. Calculate DA, calculate HRA. Are you following? But as a, a service consumer, you must know how to read the WSGL file. Why? Because uh, service provider will never give us what code. He will just give us WSGL file. So, WSGL file comes of six sections are there. As we already discussed. First of all, it is an XML file. We already know the rules to declare an XML file. Rule number one. XML file comes of a root element. Here the root element is which section? Definition section. It is the root element. So, now I am teaching you how to read the WSGL file. Let us assume that I have declared one class. The name of the class is employee service. But service consumer don't know where is my class. So, first of all, service consumer will go to service section. You will go to where? Service section. Under service section, the service consumer will identify the service URL. So, he will identify the location of the service. The location of the web service. And by seeing this, the service consumer will understand that at this location, the service is what available. If you want, you can see. I will paste it. Now, my service is what available. Are you following? So, service consumer first go to service section and he will identify the service URL. This is the service URL. SOAP underscore SOAP colon address. Location is equal to HTTP colon local host. Local host means I hosted my service on the local server. But generally in real time the services will be hosted on remote servers. And this is port number 1921. And this is my service name. Employee service dot ASMX. And then service provider under service section he will find the service name. Here service is nothing but what? Class. What is my class name? Employee service. Here you see. What is my class name? Employee service. So, he will analyze. The service consumer will understand that, okay, there is one class with name what? Employee service. And the service is located in this location. And then, he will find the service URL. So, first of all, service consumer will go to service section. He will identify two things. One is service URL and the other one is service name. That is the class name. Then, under service section, you can see one more section called what? Port section. Port. And under port, here you can find what? Under port, we can find the method names that are available in that particular class. Is it clear? Under port. Now, service consumer will go to port section. And he will identify the name of that port. Something like employee service soap. So, here you can see one more section called port type. And the name of that port is employee service soap. And here first under service section, he will identify the port name. And based on this port name, he will search what? That port type, employee service soap. And here, 
in web service every method can be represented by using one tag called operation here operation is equivalent to what method name so here you can see the service consumer will understand that okay there are two methods are there one is calculate da other one is calculate hra service consumer first he will go to service section identify the service url he will identify the class name he will analyze that the class name is employee service and under employee service under this class you have what some methods will be there here you can find what port under port section you can find the name given for what port employee service so and here you can go to port type under port type you can find two methods are there every method can be represented with the help of what operation the name of the method is calculate da and for every method two messages are created one is input message other one is output message input message is used to give the information of the input parameters of this method and output message is used to give the return type information of that particular method for example if i declare three methods for three methods how many messages are created three three input messages and three output messages for every method two messages are created one input message and one output message input message is used to give the information about what input parameters output message is used to give the information about the return type so under operation the service consumer will understand the method name that is calculate da and for this method there are some input parameters are there and if you want to know the information about that input parameters you have to go to find the name of that input message the name is calculate da soap input now go to where message section under message section you can find what calculate da soap input see here two messages are created for calculate da method one is input message other one is output message open this input message section there you can see parameters so these parameters are available under where type section it will give the information about the data types that is available under here you can see the element name is what calculate da next go to the type section under type section here you can find here you can find the input parameter here you can find the method name element name is calculate da under there we are having what the parameters are there and these parameters are available in which sequence and here you are having one more element called the sequence under this i have one input parameter what is the parameter name basic salary and the data type is what double and another here you can see there is one more um, uh, here you can find um, similarly if you want to know the information about what uh, output message the name is what calculate da soap out so here you can go to the type section there you can see calculate da soap out here you can see come to the bottom here you can see the output parameter name so soap output is used to get the return type information here you see the, what is the name of that message calculate da soap out so here you can see calculate da response you can see the return type of that method is double so as a developer the developer must know how to read the wsgl file first of all go to services section identify the service url and identify the service name that is class name employee service and then under service section here we can find what the port section under port section here you can find the name employee service soap under port section uh, you can find what the uh, port type will be there under port type what, what is available means the entire information about what methods that are available in that class are available so here you see the port name employee service soap so here you can go to where port type section the name of the port is employee service soap under this you can find some methods are there every method can be represented with what operation for example in your service class four methods are there then four operations will be declared every method is treated as what one operation and here you can see under operation and here the, my method name is calculate da under calculate da for every method two messages are created one is input message other one is output message input message is used to give the information about the input parameters 
output message is used to give the information of return type. So here under input message you can see the message name. Calculate a soap input. Now go to message section. There you can see calculate a soap input. There you can see the element name. Element name means method name. Calculate a. We'll have parameters. Now then if you want to know the information about the input data types and what output return type information then what to do here you can go to type section under type section you can see what the uh, type name element name that is what here you can see the element name that is method name that is calculate da under calculate da you open this one here you can see what input message information like for my calculate da method i have one input parameter that is basic salary the data type is what double is it clear and the return type of this method what uh, what that method actually returning the output that is calculate da here you can see the message name calculate da soap output so here you can see one more element name calculate da response there you can find the return type of that method double Actually, as this code is not visible to the service consumer, now the service consumer is manually trying to what? Read the WSGL file and he is analyzing that what is the class name and what? Method names. WSGL file is a document, it is a manual for web service. Is it clear? For example, generally when you buy any item, along with that item they will give you what? Manual. So what is the advantage of manual? In that manual you can see how to operate the entire information is available in where manual. Similarly, here also the entire information of the WSGL file, um, the entire information of your service is available in where WSGL file. Are you following? Now, service consumer, what he will do? He will try to consume the service. Consume the service only by after reading this WSGL file. But see, if you want to read some live web services, you can go to Google and type some free WSGL files. Here you can see lot of, uh, here you can see currency converted WSGL file. There are some two types of uh, visual files will be there. One is uh, paid web services, other one is free services. So here you can see this is your WSGL file. And as a developer you must know how to read the WSGL file. Is it clear? Here you can see, first of all you have to see, we cannot see the code. What is the behind code for this? You can see the service section. There you can see the service URL. This is my service URL. Is it clear? So I can copy the service URL and try to what? Paste it here. So that it will display the um, service information. I can check that. But these, as these all are what? Free web services. We can't guarantee that these services will run properly. There are some paid web services will be there. Like the, we can go for what? Uh, the banking services. These all are what? Paid services. These all are different types of currencies of different countries. For example, I will try to write some this from currency, from USD, US dollars to INR, Indian rupees, INR. Now click on what? Invoke. Now here you see it, it will show you the currency rate as it, I think it is uh, from INR to USD will give, from INR to USD, US dollars. So click on invoke, now here you see, I think the service is not working properly, but sometimes the problems will come as these all are free services. Are you following? So as a developer you must know how to consume this service. So you must know how to read the WSGL file. That is the reason, just you must know the concept of what the services section, port section, messages section and the type section, all these things. Is it here you see? This method is having two parameters. One is from currency, other one is what? To currency. And the return type is what? Again, conversion rate. This is the double. That method is returning what? Double. In the next video, anyway, we'll discuss some more visual file and I will explain you how to consume the web service. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.